the first thing which we have to understand is that selenium is a library and what is the meaning of a library the meaning of a library means the package which we import like in java we were importing java.util package in which we were getting certain predefined classes like scanner class string tokenizer class string class integer class all these classes we have used in our core java and these classes were providing some predefined methods which were not defined by us, by us they were already defined in the package in the library we were just using them in our project or in our java application similarly selenium provides the library to take the control of the browser like what is the browser say internet explorer or chrome firefox edge these are the browsers if i go to this browser so what i have to do i have to launch this browser first and then what i have to do i have to get the url say www.google.com and then say i write pizza and i click somewhere pizza hut near me so it means it is the manual thing which i am doing and so instead of doing this manual process what is the manual process i am doing i am getting opening the browser i am getting a url and then on a url maybe it is make my trip maybe it amazon maybe it and nokri.com or any other website we perform certain actions on the website like we do some hotel booking or we do some online order and uh, shopping or we do our resume posting what so what for that we do clicks we do, we, we do type we take mouse over we can uh, do these type of the actions manually instead of these actions which we are doing manually what we do we write a java program to do these actions on our behalf and what is the objective of doing this the objective of doing this is to check the functionality of the website so as we have already discussed that there are two kind of the testing what is called white box testing and it is called black box testing so in a white box testing the person maybe who has written this google so he must have written some code behind it that i am writing this thing and this is a search engine and it will perform this action but as a uh, developer he must be ch checking all his code that is all this particular web page is working in a proper way or not but as a independent person as a test engineer we have to know because the developer can be biased so we when uh, uh, or he uh, may miss something okay so in that way we want the second upon an uh, uh, unbiased testing of the web page for that we write our testing scripts which executes the page and check whether all the functionalities are working as per ex ex our expectation or not if i'm writing a pizza i should get the result for pizza only i should not get the result for burger so that is a that is a thing i have to do so for that you have to write some program to do the testing of a web page and selenium official website is selenium.dev this selenium.dev is a official website when i go to the downloads here and scroll down little bit here you will get the latest stable version 4.13.0 this is the only version you have to download okay so i think we i have uh, or i will again download it i will delete and then again download it uh, <coughs> i have already downloaded it once before so i will just delete and download it for your reference so you have to go to this website selenium.dev go to the downloads and from there you have to download this latest stable version 4.13.0 just download it okay 
after it is downloaded it is at downloads location so if you want you can just copy it it's only optional thing uh, to keep it at a proper place instead of downloads so you can just copy it and you can place at a specific location like i have placed in d drive i have created uh, just a second let us uh, let us see uh, i think i have created this d drive yes uh, so in in my machine so it is up to you uh, where you want to keep so i have just created in my drive d drive i have created this folder selenium dash jar so i have just, and uh, one more thing there should not be a space when you are naming the naming the folder na when you are like and sometimes people give their selenium space jar any name you can give it's up to you okay it's not like that you have to give the same name you can give any name whatever you want but there should not be space in between like selenium space jar there should not be space and it should be like a selenium only or you can write jar only or you can write selenium jar only but without any spaces and then i have just copied this file at this location like i have downloaded this file and i have just copied this file at this location okay now coming to the this is only you have to do again one more important thing this is not a setup file you do not have to install anything like here any desk is a setup file application it is an application i can double click and install it android studio is an application i can double click and install it all these are the installer and this is the application java application i can double click and install it like in here eclipse we have already installed application but this is a jar file j a r jar file if you double click it will not install it is not a setup you do not have to double click you do not have to install anything you have to just download it okay and copy it as specific folder wherever you want that is all you have to do now coming to the eclipse here in eclipse you can create a new java project again this was the java project which we have created for the core java okay now again i will go to this file new java project okay file new java project you can give the name of the project say i can give any name morning selenium any name you can give whatever you want to give morning selenium then as already told you that if there is a module checked here if it is checked then you have to uncheck it and <laughs> before if you click on the on the finish button uh, finish button you have to check whether this module is checked or unchecked if it is unchecked then to no problem just click on finish if it is checked then only you have to uncheck it and then click on finish okay now when we create a java project java library is automatically added in our project here java library is all but selenium library is not added <laughs> so look okay, i'll give you the demonstrative example just for example i go to the src like i have here also i was going to the src and i have created one packages like this so similarly in my morning selenium project i go to the src right click go to new package <coughs> and create one package by any name so you can create a package by the name of say core only so i can give the package name core it's not compulsory to give the core you can give any name whatever you feel like i given the package name as core and do not check on this create package info if it is checked then again you have to uncheck it whenever you create a package this package info should be unchecked and then click on finish so i have created this core package and i am just creating one java class new class 
like up till now we are i was creating let us give the name of the class as test only any name first letter should be in capital <coughs> and then click on this main method and then click on finish same class like we have done up till now it will be created now here i want to open the chrome browser so i will create my own user defined method to open the chrome browser so i have already discussed that we should not work inside the main method main method is the entry point of the program for from which execution starts and whatever action you want to perform we should write our own method so i will write public void open say i will write open chrome so i want to open a chrome browser i just write open chrome okay so now i have to write some code inside it to open the chrome this is my user defined method so i have to write something inside it to open the chrome for that i need to have some selenium library okay so if i just write over here chrome driver chrome is equals to new chrome driver it will not recognize like i was writing scanner as is equal to new scanner then i have to import the util package or i was saying that this class should be available in my package but this is not my user defined class and you have so you have understood the concepts of that thing na so like we have to we have created parent p is equal to new parent here in from child class if you remember so if for that for that parent class was available in my package then only i can initialize it or otherwise i was writing scanner as is a new scanner then scanner class was not available available in package but it was available in java library so i was able to import import java dot util but here again this is new means this is a class and this is a constructor and chrome driver is a class but the, here this class is not defined by me it is not my user defined class then i have to import it but when i take my mouse over here it is not giving me any option to import no options are coming for import because this class is not coming from java library here so it is i am not getting any import option from here now what to do now for that we have to add the selenium library which we have downloaded 7.13 4.13.0 that was the jar file which we have downloaded that is a selenium library only <coughs> now how to add that library in my this morning selenium project for that select your project project name this one morning selenium i have given the name of the project right click over here go to build path and go to configure build path here <coughs> in configure build path go to this library is here click on libraries click on this class path okay when you click on this class path you will get this option add external jar over here here click on this add external jars then browse to your folder where you have added it like in my machine i have added d and then i have added selenium jar here selenium jar and and here i have added this for and uh, uh, downloaded just now and uh, so i will browse to the location where i have kept this particular file selenium server 4.13.0 which i have just downloaded it right now again and uh, so i will just select it open and apply and close okay now if you see in my this morning selenium project this library has been added <coughs> and now when i take my mouse over again now you see import option is coming here import option is coming before it was not coming <coughs> so if i click on it 
this is the important so this is again a package name and this is a class name coming from this library this is a linear library like i was using java library java dot util dot star similarly this is org dot open dot selenium dot chrome package name and chrome driver is a class only for your reference you do not have to do it on your system but only for your understanding i am opening this jar file what is inside this jar file okay you do not have to open it on your system you have to, just uh, I, I am showing only for your understanding when I open this jar file here click then what I get I get packages over here <coughs> many packages so from that I will show you so these are all packages org dot open you see here yeah. this is the package name so it's the some person who has defined this selenium who has designed this selenium library i have not defined it some other person who has defined this selenium library has created all these packages like here if you see org dot open dot selenium dot chrome is a package name here org dot open dot selenium dot chrome and from that if i again open it i am getting this class chrome driver dot class so this is a predefined class not defined by us it is already defined i am just using it in my program so this is called selenium library so what does, does the selenium has done it has given different classes for different browsers like here this is a chrome package from where i am getting chrome driver class for chrome if you look over here again there is a chromium chromium is again a browser if i again scroll down a little bit <coughs> you see firefox here firefox again in firefox you see there is a class called firefox driver class here firefox driver class then <coughs> you can see uh, edge you see edge this is a package edge and there is a class called edge driver class so i mean to say that this is all a library which we have downloaded from their site and added to our project and now we can use this library as a import to write our program so like if i again want to open edge Now, if you want to open edge, so for that I will use the class for the edge driver. Okay, so now again I will write edge driver edge is equals to new edge driver. Like for Chrome, it is a Chrome driver class. For edge, it is edge driver class and then you have to again take your mouse and import it so on some machines import option is not coming like over here if it is not coming okay like here import option is not coming on my machine edge driver edge is a new edge driver when i'm taking my mouse import option is not coming then what you can do you can just write control and then shift and o you can press all of them together control plus shift plus o control plus shift plus o if you write these control plus shift plus o sorry then it will automatically be imported control plus shift plus o all the three things together okay then it will be so now it is again a package org dot open edge dot edge drive I have shown it. It is coming from this library. This is the Selenium library. JAR jar file. And if I want to open, say, Firefox, I am making three methods. One for Chrome, one for Edge. Again, like I was creating 
रसोई किचन बाथरूम बेडरूम फॉर डिफरेंट एक्शंस सिमिलरली आई एम क्रिएटिंग डिफरेंट मेथड्स फॉर डिफरेंट एक्शंस and for firefox again there is a class firefox <coughs> it's not compulsory to have all the it is a demonstrative example uh, that's why i am writing i have three browsers with me so first of all if you want to launch a browser what it it will do it will launch the browser it will launch chrome it will launch edge like manually when i double click on the icon chrome double click and it launches the chrome similarly here programmatically it will launch the chrome or launch the edge or launch the firefox but to launch the chrome or edge or firefox that browser must be available on my machine here chrome is available firefox is available edge is available then only it will be able to launch it if if this chrome is not available on my machine then i will not be able to launch it so if you want to launch a specific browser like safari is not a, sorry opera is not available safari is available for uh, apple and uh, mac machines okay browser okay uh, uh, opera i can use internet explorer i can use or any other browser so if you want to use it then you have to first download and install chrome or firefox then only you will be able to use it okay and one more thing uh, it's not compulsory that you have to write all the browsers if you like you have a chrome only with you and you want to work on a chrome only then you can use only chrome driver class because browser testing browser testing is same whether i'm opening uh, make my trip on a edge or on a chrome or any other browser functionality testing will remain same so if i've tested on one browser then it is okay if it's not compulsory to test in not test on every browsers so you can take only one of them as per your requirement similarly if you are working on a say in a mac machine and there is a safari browser then in that case just the class name will be safari driver safari is able to use safari driver or if you want to use opera then it will be opera driver o is able to use opera driver all the all the driver supports are available for all the browsers you can check from here again c d e f g h i interest over here you see org.openico.ie from here you can get the index code i j k safari you see org.openico.safari if you are working on a mac machine you can use this safari this is a safari driver class which is like firefox so all the supports are there now browser is launched now what is the next step you have to do that is you have to get the url which you want to test okay for that there is a method called now what is a class class is a combination of methods like i was writing scan as in scan then i was writing sc dot so i was getting the list of the methods a string x is equal to parag x dot i was getting the list of the methods so similarly this is a class and this is the reference of the class and if i write chrome dot i will get list of the methods for that class and i will so these are all ready made methods pre defined methods so there is one method called get method which get the url which i want to test okay so now say for example for url you you have to write complete url from beginning to end that is starting from http 
to end like for example i want to open this google so it is better if you if you open it on a browser and then copy the url from here only so you will get the complete url and then paste it inside this one so it will launch the chrome browser and get the url which you want to test <laughs> so say on chrome i am want to open a uh, google.com on edge say i want to open this rm infotech and then i want to open this software or tech so even if it is a link it's not the composite that you have to copy up to the com only like this is a continuation page this is a base url up to the com domain name and then i get many links like here slash up to this page so you have to just copy the url complete url whatever the url is and just again in edge i will use edge dot i will get the list of the methods again same method name within double quotes paste the url whatever the url you want to open it should always start from http or https if you only write www then it will not work you have to write complete from the beginning http or https till com or link page also you can open this is a link page so com slash link page okay and say on firefox again i want to open <coughs> some other say amazon again if i go to sign in link you see i get this lengthy url just copy it don't worry whatever it just copy it how many long it will be maybe and just write again get method within double quotes and paste the url <coughs> whatever it is okay so what i am doing uh, for the demonstration purpose i have created three methods one to open the chrome and get the google.com on chrome another to open the edge and get this particular url rm info tech and another firefox to get the amazon so i have written three methods and then i will create the constructor of my class test t is equal to new test from the main method all these things i think you have already so this is a my class test so i will create the constructor of my test class okay and then i will call the method t dot open chrome and this method will be called so i have defined this method this is defined already i think and you must now be familiar we have already defined we have defined this method and now what we are we are calling this one okay okay understood yeah. now i am running this program so if you see what will happen now i am running this test.java so when i right click on this test.java run as java application so it will run chrome so you see it will launch the chrome and execute the you see the browser is launched and google.com is open this one so it has launched this particular browser and the google.com is opened up but if you see over here it is not in the maximized state it is not in the maximized state so i will do it and again if i want to close it i have to close it manually here i have to close it manually again i will show you how to do it now instead of this method if i try to call other method that is open edge this one this one so it will launch the oh 
and it will get this URL RM info. Let us check it. <coughs> right click, run as Java application. This is now Edge browser is launched and it has taken this URL which I have specified. RM info is slash selenium automation this url is opening up okay and say if i want to open firefox then it will launch firefox <coughs> and it will get this amazon page So now Firefox is launched and it has taken you to the specific URL. Understood? Yes. Now one important thing you have to next important thing you have to understand is all these classes if you see different classes <coughs> different classes are having the same methods get 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 Again, if I see, if I write Chrome dot, you see what are methods I am getting? Close, then in a find element, find elements, get, etc. If I click on this edge dot, You see, you get the same methods, same close, execute, find element, find elements, same list of the methods you are getting. Again, if I write fire dot, <coughs> it's not like that, that different classes are having different methods, not all the, all, all the, even if you are, you are writing Safari driver, or you are writing an uh, opera driver you will get the same list of the methods in every class same list of the methods but when we have done this poor java so you have seen that a scanner class is a different class from where i am getting different methods a string class is a different class from where i am getting different list of the methods a string tokenizer is a different class from where i am getting different list of the methods but here all the classes are having the same methods now for that we have discussed the concept of interface if you remember <coughs> so in the interface what we have discussed that if multiple classes want to have the same method name but different functionalities then we can define the methods inside the interface and we can implement that interface in different classes like we have created the interface automobile and we have implemented in car and we have implemented in scooter so car and scooter both classes were having the same methods but the different functionalities here also get method name is same but here it is performing the action on edge here get method is same but it is performing the action on firefox so it means internal functionality will be different but name is same so for that particular purpose what they have done again they must have created some interface also so there is an interface by the name of web driver so web driver is a name of an interface okay and this web driver so this is a predefined interface not defined by us so like we have done in our last class set interface list interface map interface so these were predefined interfaces so similarly web driver is a predefined interface and like we have done in our last class key set interface is implemented in hash set class or linked hash set class remember as i told you that revise all the things that and, 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 uh, before starting with the selenium so same thing over here 
web driver is a interface which is implemented in all the browser classes it means chrome driver is a class which is implementing web driver interface edge driver is a class which is again implementing same interface firefox driver is again is a class which is implementing same interface hence all are getting the same method names okay so now if you look at my uh, uh, only for the understanding if you look at my car dot java which we have done in core java we have written cars is equal to new car or we can we can write automobile a is equal to new car <coughs> that is the constructor of the car is returning the interface reference again if you look at my previous example say uh, set demo <coughs> then what, what i was written that set is an interface which is implemented in class tree set and i was writing new class name which is returning the interface reference same thing we can do over here that is instead of writing this chrome driver chrome is equal to new chrome driver here what i can do i can write web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver like this and we have to import this web driver for that again you can write if import option is not coming control shift and o it will import so now chrome driver is a class like new car i was writing and it is returning the reference of the interface like automobile auto is equal to new car i was writing set s is equal to new headset i was writing so both are correct above one is also correct that is class constructor is returning the reference of the class or class constructor is returning the reference of a interface understood and again if i write driver dot you will get the same method get like i was getting the break method by auto dot also and by, by car sees your new car also it will also work so let us try to run it in this way and if i again open the chrome and run it again to check whether it is working or not so it is working it is giving you the same result okay now the advantage is now the, the if you again look at my uh, core java example here drive this example we have done so if you remember this example so i have written different methods drive car drive scooter and i was creating the class constructor new car c object new scooter sc object and then when I was using accelerate and brake methods. Then we have discussed that instead of creating two objects, that is C and SC, what I can do? I can make a global variable automobile auto. And then I can use new car is returning the object of this interface auto. And again, new scooter is returning the object of this interface auto. Okay, so what advantage I told you, I say that instead of creating the multiple objects, I can create one automobile object and this automobile object is referring to two memories. That is, I can, if auto is referring to the car, it will call the car method. If it is referring to scooter, it will call the scooter method. Remember this thing we have discussed in our core Java. Okay. And this was a global variable again we have discussed what is the meaning of global variable the meaning of global variable is that which can be used anywhere inside the class 
it means it means this auto reference can be used in this method drive car as well as it can be used inside this drive scooter also so now same thing i will do over here if you see again i will create a global variable over here this is a local variable web driver driver is a local variable if i if i write over here in this edge if i write like this that is again a driver is equals to new edge driver it will give you the error what is this driver because this is a local 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 to this method so its scope is limited to this method here it is not able to recognize what is this driver so again i have to redefine it like this so it means we have to create two times instead of that what i will do i will make a global variable over here public web driver driver is equals to null it means we have initialized this web driver is equal to null means not holding anything this is my global variable because i have defined this global variable then i can directly use this driver inside my open chrome method i can just write that driver dot so it will refer to this driver above this one okay similarly again i need do, do not have to write web driver i will just write driver it will refer to this driver also and then same driver dot get control c same thing so it means instead of the writing this above i can write this thing also okay and same thing in basically this is a one time uh, thing you have to write and uh, syntax wise you have to learn these synt understanding is the one thing but actually when you are writing a program then you have to know the syntax part so actually you have to learn learn them basically okay and you have, uh, and for the understanding i i give you the things in two three ways but actually we will be using only one way like here i am giving you the that you can open the browser in this way and that way but actually when we will be working practically we will be using only in one way so what so what will be the better approach that will that we will be using So again, what if you look at the advantage? The advantage over first approach was that I had to create three objects. Like here, I was creating fire. Then here, I was get creating edge, and then above, I was creating chrome. I was creating three objects. But here, in the second one, I am getting only one object: driver. Driver. and driver so it is better better why using single reference single memory sorry single and a reference i can refer to the multiple memories understood
okay working with sim so here what we have done we have initialized this web driver driver is equal to null one time and then if i am following this method then this driver will refer to this memory if i am calling this method then this driver will refer to this memory and similarly if i am opening this method this driver will refer to this memory if it is referring to firefox it will get the url on firefox if it is referring edge it will get the uh, url on edge and if it is referring to chrome it will get the url on edge uh, on chrome sorry okay or otherwise you can just run this syntax that is we have to write web driver driver is equal to null and you have to write this because this is not preferred it is only for the understanding i've shown you but actually we write this way practically okay so now if i again open it and check it so i have will open the edge and check it and for this understanding purpose only i have created we have done this four java lectures before you know so that you understand these concepts so it is giving the same result edge is opening and it is getting the url okay should i proceed hello hello okay should i proceed okay so it means it is working okay now what we have to do next is that my browser is not maximizing okay so it is opening in a not in a maximized state so right now we have seen when i was running this program it was launching the edge but not in a maximized state it is launching getting the url but here maximized state is this it is not opening in a maximized state so i want to open it in a maximized state so now what to do so now this it will launch the browser and this will get the url to test now after that i want to maximize that maximize the window for that i will write one more line that is driver dot manage there is one all these methods are predefined method what is a driver drive is a reference of web driver when i write dot i will get the methods of this web driver which is implemented in this class chrome driver or edge driver so all the method list will remain same whatever the browser you are using all the method list will remain same so do not worry just you have to change the class name only new chrome driver new safari driver new edge driver otherwise all the method list will remain same so i will just write driver dot and you will get the list of the methods so all these methods are predefined method we do not have to define any method by ourselves and there is a method called manage you will get managed so driver dot manage is a method <coughs> it is a predefined method which is returning options here so i told you method can return void view id void method can return primitive data int long float double care or method can return non primitive class type of the data like a string or if you remember home we have written so this manage is returning options so options is a class type of the data so i will write like this so web driver dot manage method is returning the options object o then o dot again i will get the list of the methods for the class options window so window is a method again predefined method coming from this class options so options is again a class okay and window is a method which is again returning the 
reference of this window. So again, I will write. So window method is returning window object and then window dot maximize is a method. So three methods. First of all, manage is coming from this web driver, driver dot, it means it is a method of this web driver, manage, which is returning options. So I have written options O. Then O dot window is a method, window is a method coming from this options class which is returning the window. Window is again a class. So window reference W I have written. And then window method is maximize. So if I run it and check it. So now see the screen is maximized full screen is coming now again I am writing three lines one line two line three line it is a long way long way I can make it is a shorter way again if I comment it comment it and I can write in a shorter way or short way. Then what I can do? I can just write driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. So basically people learn these lines. Just they learn it. Like what when I take an interview and I ask how to launch the browser they just learn this thing web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver how to maximize driver dot manage dot window dot maximize but if i write what is the meaning of this dot 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 they are not able to explain it in a properly if i ask why we are writing web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver why are we not writing chrome driver chrome is equal to new chrome driver they are not able to answer it in a proper way so that's that so basically when we go for the uh, interviews so we should know the logic behind it uh, okay so we can we can uh, so uh, learn the things as well as we have to understand the thing so that we we, we can explain to the person See that Chrome driver is a class, Firefox driver is a class. So Selenium has provided different classes for different browsers, and I can initialize and create the create the object of the class also. But for that, we have to create the multiple objects for multiple classes to make my work easier. What if I have done? I have created the object of web driver. So web driver is an interface which is implemented in all the browser classes. So hence, instead of creating the multiple objects of the class, we can use this one reference to refer to the multiple classes. So this is the explanation. So similarly, what is this dot dot dot? So you can explain that this is a shortcut rule of the Java. That is, if a class method is returning a class type of the data and I am calling the method of that class, then instead of writing multiple references O, W, I can write it a shorter way that is that is you can explain okay so practically we practically will not be using this practically will not be using this practically we will be using only this line or oh, launching of the browser getting the URL and maximizing it. that's all we have to do okay similarly over here driver dot manage dot Again, window 
Bob Maximus. Now, one more important thing. This is a reusable code. If you want to run any kind of a test, what is the first thing you have to do? That is, you have to launch the browser. And after launching the browser, you have to get the URL. Then only, then only you can work on it. That means it is a repetitive code. You have to write it again and again. If uh, I want to open uh, uh, Google or if I want to open Edge or if I uh, or want to open some other browser or some other URL, I have to write this code again and again. So what I will do? I will use the concept of inheritance. What is the concept of inheritance? Write once and reuse again and again. So let us make one more class. Now this class I can name as a page i am again creating one more class in this package and i will name it as a page p capital like which page i want to automate page p here i am not writing public static word main because i do not want to execute this class so i am not writing public static word main in it i am just writing finish so this is simple page class and now in this simple page class, I will write one method public void open browser. I'm not writing open Chrome or open edge or open Firefox. I'm writing open browser. And here I am taking two inputs parameterized method a string which browser you want to open comma string which url you want to open so i am taking two inputs to the method okay and here i will inside this i will this is the body of the method here i will write if browser dot equals say chrome if browser dot equals ch or any chrome then it means i have to launch the chrome as i told you we do not have to launch multiple browsers at one point of time i will launch only one browser and i can test on it else if browser dot equals i told you is a method to compare the string if else if browser dot equals firefox then i have to launch the firefox else if browser dot equals say edge then i will so i have written three conditions if chrome if firefox if edge okay and then what i will do i will initialize the these browsers for that again i will create a global variable public web driver driver is equals to null in that way and if i want to open a chrome i will write driver is equals to new chrome driver which we have just done if i want to open firefox i will just write driver is equals to new
and similarly so if this input is chrome it will go to the if if it is firefox it will go to the else if if it is a edge it will go to the else if and accordingly it will launch the browser and then whatever browser it is launching driver dot get url whatever the url maybe it is google maybe maybe it is amazon maybe it is facebook whatever the url it it will pass the url and get the url and then driver dot manage dot window dot maximize will maximize so basically this is the standard one time class i have written open browser method i have written i have written this code one time okay understood okay hello now again i am making one more method if i am opening a browser then i have to close it also so for that again i have created one this is all user defined method so this is this is user defined method okay so i have i am defining it user defined method here and i am like writing some logic this is predefined class this is predefined method but this is my user defined method also i am taking two inputs over here this is my method i am defining it like up till now i was writing many methods in my core java examples same thing this is again my user defined method i am defining it and how to close the browser again there is method called driver dot quit to close the browser okay so this is a global variable why because this variable global variable i want in this open browser as well as i want in close browser also here i'm not passing which browser to close so it will automatically take if this driver is referring to chrome then chrome will be closed if it is referring to firefox firefox will be closed or edge will be closed so with which driver it is referring to so because i want to use a driver in this method as well as in this method so i have created it as a global okay understood now this is the one time class page dot java so practically this this class we will not be using this one which we this class is for the understanding i have shown you that what is the meaning of what is the meaning of this library what is the meaning of this import what is the meaning of this class what is the meaning of this interface what is a long cut shortcut practically we will be using only this page dot java this much you have to write only <coughs> which we have written over now i will create one more package hmm. yes yes and i will just finish it up in 5 10 minutes okay 5 minutes more so i will i will create one more package src i will create one more package by the name of test cases okay so now this is a package code in which i have created is page.java and another package in src i have created by the name of test cases now in this test cases say i am creating a class by the name of google test main method finish again i am creating a class by the name of say facebook test main method multiple test cases i am creating again i am creating one more class say amazon test So here I have created three classes, but if I want to 
automate Google. I have to open the browser and get the google.com. If I want to open the Facebook, again I have to open the browser and get the facebook.com. If I want to automate the Amazon, again I have to open the browser and get the URL amazon.in. For that, we have already created this page.java. So, what I will do, I will just inherit extends page and write our own method public void say test method and in that test method I can call open browser and write browser name and URL that is HTTPS www.google.com So what is this method? This method is inherited. So what is I am doing? Calling inherited method. <coughs> so this is method I have defined over here. Open browser. And now what I am doing? I am calling this particular method. Open browser. And here I am passing the input. Chrome. So this Chrome will be passing to this browser and here I am calling uh, the method and passing the URL. So it will pass the URL to this URL and this method will get executed. Okay. Understood. So I'll just launch it and I will keep up to here. So now if I'm running this Google test, it will call the inherited method page and will launch the Chrome and get the URL and maximize the page. Okay. So we'll keep up to here. We'll continue in our next session.